Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout, full body. We're gonna be doing a lot of compound moves, so that's gonna incorporate legs and arms, and obviously, your core really has to work hard to keep that spine nice and strong and tall. Compound moves are, are great at revving the metabolism, building muscle, and then fueling the fire, so we're gonna keep your heart rate up the entire time. I have this broken down into two circuits. Each circuit has 15 moves. We're gonna do 40 seconds of work and 13 seconds of transition. The weights I'm using today are gonna to be from five to a 25 pound dumbbell. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any new workout. We have a real quick warm up. Roll the shoulders back, set that intention. It's a great full body workout today and you love it, it's no repeat. You're gonna squat down and just rise up. Push your butt back and then I want you to really push your hips forward. Now next time you come up, reach the arms up. And as you reach up, a little bit back. So you kind of do a little back extension here. One more, and then take it to a lateral lunge. Just stay here, and then the other side. So we're just gonna be shifting to the right, and then to the left. In that lateral lunge, I want you to turn your feet out slightly, roll your shoulders back, and then start to add a reach. So you're gonna reach to the foot, have a little twist. Pull the belly up and in. One more, stand up, hug the right knee into the chest, and switch. The hug is gonna to help to get that low back to stretch out. Just two more. Step back into a plank. Down dog, hips up, back to plank with a push up, down dog to push up. When you do your down dog, if you want to do a reaching to the ankle, you could add a reach. Last one. All right, step it in. We can march our jog. Shoulders back, chest is up, heels to your butt. And then jumping jacks, take it into an I and then a T. Two more, and then just a nice twist, release that back. Our first move is gonna be a nice moderate to heavy goblet squat. That weight is up in front. I have the heels of my hands on each side of that dumbbell. We're gonna go down halfway and then all the way. In a squat, my feet face forward. Sumo, they turn out. And I want that butt to drop low, so that's why we're loaded in the front here. When you have that heavy weight, you gotta use that core right, to hold on to this. Pull your shoulders down and back. You have five seconds. And then you're gonna grab one moderate dumbbell. I'm gonna go for a 15, so who's got my 15? I need it back. Right hand has it. Right leg, we squat, then push. Actually, I think I can do 20. Anybody need 15? So I squat, push. So I'm bearing the weight into the right leg, and anything you wanna do with this left arm is up to you. I kind of have a kickstand. My left foot's back on my toe. Squat. Push it up. And again, moderate to heavy. 
You saw I went for 20. Jennifer, did you need the 15? No comment, right? Come on, we're gonna switch arms. Whew. We're good though, everybody's got a good weight. Okay, rack it up. Shift into that left leg. You can have that other foot back slightly. Good posture. Squat first and press it up. That breath is gonna be inhale when you lower. It's gonna protect that back. Exhale's gonna help you push that weight up. Drop that butt in that squat. We have alternating lunge back with a twisted forward raise. I'm gonna use 10. As I lunge back, I'm gonna twist my palm up. I'm gonna scoop it forward. Feet separated. Step back, scoop. So the palm goes up. All right, we're twisting the fists up, chest is up. Get a little bicep front shoulder. Woo, keeps that heart rate elevated. And those feet separated. Remember, it's not a bicep curl. You gotta keep that arm extended with a slight bend in the elbow. We have a burpee with the right hand holding a dumbbell. Right hand holds a dumbbell. I'm gonna come down with a push up. Feet wide, snatch the weight up. We're good to go, everybody can do this. So we go down, push up, feet, snatch the weight. If you don't wanna do the push up and the burpee, you can do a snatch. So you can take that choice. Everybody's gonna move at their pace. Before you snatch, I want your eyes up. Then you pull the weight up. Oh yes. In that push-up, drop that chest to elbow height. You got about five seconds to finish off. Whew, all right. Take that moment to breathe. If you need a quick drink, you got it. We're gonna take a break after 15 moves. Get the other arm ready to go. <sighs> Fix anything you need. All right, drop it down. Burpee, push up. Step or hop. Give me that beautiful snatch. <sighs> Gotta keep that butt low and lift that chest up, that snatch. It's gonna protect your back. Looking good. Whew, okay, I'm gonna stay with my 15. I'm gonna lunge back that left leg. Drop, curl, Push away, staying in a static lunge here. Shoulders back, feet separated, drop, curl, push away. So you come and you hold that lunge, then you give me that beautiful curl, fist to shoulder, and you almost push forward into that leg. And get as low as you can in your lunge. Push in your heel. Eyes look out in front. Okay, same thing on the other side. And always push yourself to go for that little extra in the weight, but know your body. Shoulders back, step it, drop, then curl, push away. 
Again, right into that front heel. Drop the chest forward. Pull the belly up and in. A few more. And then we're going to go to skull crushers. I'm going to be using my 12s. Where do I need to grab them? Okay, just keep going. So skull crushers on your back, looking at the ceiling. Super. Pinkies in, legs extended slightly with the hips up. As I bend the elbows, I'm gonna bowl one knee into the chest and then the other knee. But have your heels on the floor and your legs kind of long. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Go at that great pace. And again, this should be moderate, right? We only do this one time for that 40 seconds. So we're gonna be lightening the load and coming into a V sit after this. And I'm gonna be using, whew, I think I'm gonna stay either, or you can stay with what you got. You're gonna do a V sit with a little press out in front. Okay, so you lean back slightly. Wherever you want your hands, they can face in or face out. You press up. Almost like a shoulder press, kind of between shoulder and chest. And if you want to take those feet off the floor, or you could do one and the other. That gives you a little bit of unstableness. And then what we're gonna to try to do is go a little heavier for chest press. That's the next movement here. A little chest press, anybody want? Gotta be fast. On your back, legs extended. Okay, so we're gonna do chest press with legs reaching out. All right, legs are out, press up. If you need to bend the, bend the knees, but with extended legs, oh my gosh, you gotta work your core to squeeze your legs together. You can do anything for 40 seconds, I know you can. Back of the head on the floor. We're gonna burn up those arms a little bit here. Keep those arms wide. We're not pressing inward, just punching straight up to the sky. After this is push-ups with a knee drive. All right, let's just flip hands or knees. So we'll do one push up and then pull the knee in. You can always do a down dog to give it a break. So it's a push up, knee in. Always drop to the knees because we've been doing a lot of chest. You do what you can. Come on, we want to burn it up. And then you pick one dumbbell after this in eight seconds. It's a jack with a press. Ooh. I'm just going to grab a 10. And then I'm gonna do a jack press. Or tap it out. Or hold it in front. So again, you have some options. Heart rate should be up. Oh my gosh, come on. Two dumbbells. I'm gonna do 12s. 
A little squat press, a little squat walk. Start to the right of your mat. Whew. Right here, a little drop press twice. Walk over. Press twice, two walks. Use your legs to help you out. Feel our shoulders here. So we have one more move, then you have a break. Come on, take it over. Sumo, upright row. It's where you turn your feet out. I'm gonna come on my mat. Drop, you can hinge a little forward, and then upright row. You can alternate. Roll back, drop, pull. Squat, come up, then pull. So I want two separate movements. The sumo squat and then the upright row. Okay, here we go, water. Get it, nice job. Whew, halfway through this. The first move, you can have weight or not, I'm not gonna use weight. It's gonna be a squat, punch, alternate those punches. We have 25 seconds, you got a long time here. Whew. All right. Yeah, that was a long break, huh? But that's okay, because then we're gonna go through 15 more, and you need that. You need to recover. So remember, squat punch if you want light, you could do three to five. I'm gonna do no weight. I'm good. Squat punch right, cross it, left, cross. Pick up the foot, rotate the heel. Kind of a fun movement. Just get us ready for that round, the second part of this. It's kind of like a second circuit. Side forearm plank. I'm gonna use a five. We're gonna come onto this side. Knees bent, arm out in front. Side raise, option. Knee comes into the chest and extend the leg out. So you're gonna bring it in and open. Exhale, inhale. You can drop the knee a little forward, kind of get a little internal, external rotation on the hip. More challenging is thumb down, pinky up. Come on. We're going to go right to the other side. Nice work. Swing it around. That alignment. So stack the knees. That's going to help you out here. You can go knee in. Open up. So we're doing a nice reverse fly. Get the rear delt. Those back muscles working for you. Your core, when you move that leg. Once we're done, we've got renegade rows or you can stand up and do alternating rows. Okay, so you can determine where you wanna go with that. I'm gonna use 15, 
We're good. So some people can stand if you want to. You have your feet open. Pull that weight towards your hip in that renegade row. And if you're standing, it's an alternate. Pull it back. Elbows up high. Looking good, come on. Nice and strong. Rows, you're really strong in rows, you guys. So, this should be a moderate load. After this, we're kneeling overhead extension. One or two dumbbells behind the head, on the knees, or standing. One or two dumbbells on the knees or standing. I have my elbows bent, and then extend up to the sky. Ooh, I'm gonna use 12s. All the way up. When they come in, or up to the sky, kind of tighten it up by my face. Chin up, watch your hair. I like using two dumbbells because I feel like I can work the right and left a little bit more equally. Oh, and I can get heavier. Ooh, yeah. And then after this, you're gonna grab something heavy for a dumbbell swing. Oh. One dumbbell, I'm gonna use my 25. So it's a low, and then it's a high. You got it? Your back is good. Low. High. So stay in the low. And then you can go as high as you feel that you can. This one you really need to be careful of your back. So if you have some back issues, maybe just do some squat pulses. Especially if you get herniated discs, okay? All right, I'm gonna go for my 15s. Squat curl, if anybody needs the 12s. I'm gonna squat here, squat, pulse, curl, press. Hands by the side, down, two, curl, then push. Eyes up. You can change that grip, right? Curl, take it out. Press if you want to. A lot of shoulders today. They help us with so much. Bent over row, supine, palms up. Pull this way. Get a little more bicep, feels different, might need to be lighter. Hinge forward, pull it back to your hips. So I'm gonna pull to my hips. Feel the difference? Pinch between the shoulder blades. Pull the little belly in, look out in front. Oh, good posture. Looking good. <clears throat> kind of making a V with those dumbbells, right? They're in and then they're out. Oh. Come on, come on. All right, if anybody needs a 12, they can again. I'm gonna use a 15. I'm gonna have it in my right arm. I'm gonna curtsy lunge with the right, put the weight up, and then take that right leg out to the side. Curtsy lunge. Boom, hold the weight up, side lunge. Curtsy, push out to the side. You can let the leg float from curtsy to side, then tap it down. If you need a little support, I'm gonna use my other hand, help hold it, and use your core. 
When we do a lot of compound movements, more of your body has to be helping you out here. Okay, other side. That's like one of my new favorite moves. I like that move. Okay, so we're gonna do that curtsy to lateral. Roll it back, give me length first, and get into your movement. Think of spinal length before you do your movement. So you gotta engage your core, your shoulders, your hips. This can be a nice moderate load. I could probably do 20. Front lunge. Actually, RDL. 20, I'm gonna do a 20 in my right hand. All right, leg forward, left leg is kicked back. Pulse on the deadlift. Right, so come down two. Give me a curl and press. Push it up. Push your butt back. Curl, press. So that leg is gonna be pretty straight. Drop two. And here's that length that I want in that spine. Wherever you want your hand, be at your hip. Push in your heel. All right, when I tip forward, I push my heel, get to the back of that leg. Okay, other side. So a little kickstand, shoulders roll back. Remember, you're gonna push the hip back, double pulse with that curl and press. Anchor, drop two. And how low do you go? Just below the knee is great. So if you really got tightness, that's as low as you can go, that's great. You're gonna still hit that hamstring. But man, you gotta work that core in this movement. And your booty. When you hinge forward, again, keep it the length, keep your spine, keep your core pulling in. We have three seconds. Front lunge with a halo chop. I'm gonna use a 12. So you lunge, chop behind the head. You could do it to the back. So I'm gonna step forward right, chop behind the head, left. So if that forward lunge is tough on the knee, do it to the back. Right, chop, we twist. So come down, pause, swing it. Don't swing it too low, keep it kind of a little high. It's gonna help your spine. Ugh. We've done halo chops with laterals. Oh, come on. Then we're gonna come on our back for bridging with one dumbbell, I need a 10. Ooh, I just need 110. Right hand has a weight. And the left leg is up. Gonna drop the hip, lift the hip, and then reach the arm back and up. So right arm and right foot. Single leg bridge, if you want your left arm down. With a pull over. So you don't want too heavy. 10 is kind of right where I met the limit. My arm stays straight. Drop the hips, lift the hips. Press through the heel of that right leg. All right, switch the legs. So you're gonna have the hips lifted. Extend your left arm up. So drop everything, the arm goes back, and then everything comes up. So lower and lift. Inhale, exhale. Your leg on the other side can be straight, it can be bent. You can do whatever you want. You know, bring the knee 
down and up. That feels kind of good. But you're moving the hips along with that arm so that we can get two things done here. We can get the lat and we can get the glute. Okay. Whew. Lats are great. They're right underneath that bra area. Ooh. Come on, really good posture here. This is it. All right. Whew. Hug the knees into the chest. I just want to check my timer. Yep, we did good. I didn't miss anything. So this is the end of the full body. I thought it'd be great that we throw in just a quick little five minute abs. Oh, so give it a good stretch here in that low back. You're gonna be on your back. If you really need to, hands can go underneath the hips. You're gonna lift the head and shoulders, legs are low and off the ground, and you're doing a quarter of a lift here. So you're only coming up a quarter of the way. So this is just focusing on low ab. And we're gonna go from one movement to the next. You can always make this a 10 minute and just do a repeat. So when the legs lower down, you're gonna feel a little arch and then push into that arch. And five seconds is a reverse crunch with the knees bent, the head stays down, bend the knees, knees to shoulders, heels tap the ground. Rolling the spine off the mat and then releasing it with control. Hip lift, straight legs, just lifting and releasing the hips. Don't lower the legs to the ground, just the hips. Lower the right leg, do a little pulse, pulse, then switch. Drop, drop, lift up. If you want a little bit more, head and shoulders up, hands can reach. You can have hands behind your head. And then hands by the hips, flutter the legs low, up and down, like my hands right by the side, <clears throat> right by the sides of the hips. Pulling in. You can always drop the head and shoulders to the floor. Feet down, reach back, come up to grab the right ankle, and then stay on the right side. Keep the knees a little bit bent. You want to make it harder, don't reach back so far and keep the hands just over the shoulders. Same move, but reach for the left. Both legs up, bent knees, hands by the head. As you come up, push one leg out, then release. Push one leg out, come up. So you come up, then push the leg out. Forearm plank, flip it. 
Woo! All right, on those elbows, all you gotta do is start to drop the right knee and then the left knee. <clears throat> push down into the elbows, push the hips kind of tucked under a little bit. Double knee drop, both knees touch, then press back, slow it down. Flip it. Woo. On your hands, tucking in and out. So you can be on the hands or no hands. Pull the knees in. Oh, here we go. Come on. On your elbows, woo! All right, flutter on the elbows, facing up still. This is the last move. You can do it, come on. We're we'll working that low ab area. It's a lot of leg movement here. Relax your shoulders. Woo! Three. Two, oh, 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 did you feel that, right? Woo, all right, let's do a up tog. Just give me a hips down. Woo, chest up, shoulders relaxed. Awesome job. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You could do a little neck roll. Go ahead and do that. Are you good enough to wait for me? We're having so much fun today. And let's go into a little all four around the back, tuck the tailbone. And then arch and look up. Round. Arch and look up. Find neutral. Just sink in your shoulders and then push away. So do some scapular retraction. Two more. Drop, push one more time. Take that front arm, reach it up, open. Maybe behind the head, see if you can push into the bottom arm. And then let's thread it through. And sink back into your heels. Got me up all night, putting things on the side. What do you have in mind? Come back up, and we'll open up to the back. Hand can go behind the head. And then thread it through. Sit back. And then all the way on your stomach. Let's do the quads a little different today. So we can pull back on one foot on your stomach. Rest your forehead. And then lift up, so push your foot into your hand and you can lift up the chest. And let's switch the legs. And then open up, so lifting up, push into that foot, into your hand. And relax, go ahead and go into down dog. Walk to the feet, roll yourself up. Woo. Do a big inhale, reach up, pull it down into your heart. Behind the head, open that chest up, reach out, open up a little bit more, thumbs back. Go to the sky, pull it in last time, have that gratitude. Thank you guys. Oh, and thank you this crew. Nice job guys, way to go. Hope you enjoyed that. 
Hey, you can always follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So Instagram is great, the stories I usually post on there, kind of what I'm doing or some of the stuff that you're gonna see coming up in the uh, YouTube channel. So if you can, you can find me there. You guys have a great day. Make sure you do thumb up it and comment below. Have an awesome day. We'll see you back here again. Woo!